गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माय सेल्फ मिस्टर गणेश सदस्य साठे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज कोविड नाइन्टीन वैक्सीन दीज आर माय कंटेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इम्युनाइजेशन प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल एज पर दी प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर इज कंसर्न एंड टू प्रिवेंट एनी टाइप ऑफ इन्फेक्शन इम्युनाइजेशन प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल because they will provide global health security now how to immunize against any infection and the weapon against is nothing but the our vaccine now what is meant by vaccine and why vaccination is required see when we will get vaccinated we will get immunity against different types of infection at global level there are 20 different types of life threatening diseases which will be prevented with the help of that vaccines every year approximately 22 to 3 million deaths per year is going to be prevented now in case of that covid 19 how to vaccinate against it see vaccine is a a, a solution to prevent that global pandemic caused by that covid 19 so what are the different types of vaccines available there are main four types first one is called whole virus as a vaccine we can use that covid 19 as a vaccine again they have two types that is live attenuated viral vaccine inactivated or killed vaccine type second is also called as not nucleic acid vaccine they again have two types dna vaccine rna vaccine type 3 is also called as not viral vector based vaccine they also have two types live attenuated viral vaccine and inactivated or killed vaccine and type 4 which is also called as not protein vaccine or subunit vaccines now how these vaccines provide immunity against it see when we administer type 1 then whole virus will be injected in your body they will cause infection that means they will enter they will establish and they will multiply but they will not cause disease so after the administration of whole virus as a vaccine then your immunity will get increased of course they also have some disadvantages because there will be a chance of reversion the example of that whole virus vaccine is nothing but the covaxin so covaxin which is available in india is produced by bharat biotech then second can nucleic acid vaccine trigger immunity yes because here we are directly injecting either dna or rna as a as a vaccine after injection what will happen that dna or rna will get expressed and they will synthesized antigen so called the spike protein found onto the the uh, uh, the capsomer of that virus so they will trigger immunity against this now it is produced by uh phytopharma the next type third can viral vector based vaccine trigger immunity yes see the covid shield which is approved by government of india is it's a one type of that vaccine because here we are using uh, here we are using one vector virus which is modified by integrating the spike protein of that covid 19 causing corona virus so after administration of this they will provide immunity no doubt they will provide immunity but they are not responsible for any diseases the example of it is covid shield the covid shield which is administered uh, into the uh, overall population of india is prepared by that serum institute pune then fourth can or that how do subunit vaccines trigger immunity this subunit vaccine is a simply nothing but the a fragment of protein or a fragment of polysaccharide so after administration of it our immune system will consider it as a antigen and our immune system tried to synthesize immune system against it uh, the important advantage of this subunit is subunit vaccine is that they will produce strong and effective immune response so it is also available in india now there are some myths and facts regarding to the covid 19 the 
the first one is uh, the ingredients which are used for covid 19 vaccine preparations are safe or not yes all ingredients which are used in covid 19 are safe second covid vaccines are halal no covid vaccine is prepared by using the plant proteins or plant components that's why covid vaccine is not a halal most of the people have mild or no side effect after taking covid 19 vaccine yes see on to this planet there are approximately 700 billion peoples and the immunity of each and every individual is different one so it may occur or it may not occur can vaccination of develop immunity from that covid 19 more effectively than getting infected and sick yes because vaccination will reduce the risk of getting serious illness which is caused due to that covid 19 getting vaccinated against covid 19 helps to protect you from getting sick yes so it's my appeal to all students that please do vaccinate and protect yourself from that covid 19 infections can mrna covid 19 vaccines are safe than other vaccine yes see in this case we are using mrna see generally human have different types of rna we have trna mrna rrna snrna snrna guide rna rna interference so just like that our body is enriched with these types of rna the continuous synthesis is going on with the help of that fundamental process which is called as a transcription so here we are injecting the mrna obtained from the covid 19 virus uh, uh, which will act as an uh, which will act to synthesize the proteins and that proteins will be will be uh, act as an antigen next can covid vaccine only contains safe ingredients yes see every country or every state have their fda department food and drug administration department so before selling any vaccine they actually strictly check the quality as well as they go for what the clinical trials so the components which are used in covid 19 are safe as per the survival of human beings is concerned next uh, after getting vaccination uh, what precautions we have to take see vaccination is a one tool through which you can survive in this covid 19 but along with that you also have to wear mask maintain distance the distance between two people should not be less than six feet then you just have to cuff you just have to cover a cuff while uh, while sneezing you also have to cover it and preferably do not go into the poor ventilated areas so vaccination is one tool along with that we also have to wear mask okay you just have to wash your hands by using sanitizers you just have to cover cough sneeze and avoid poor ventilated areas vaccine offers strong protection against covid 19 but people must take all the recommended dose this is very important one because one dose will not give immunity for longer period of time so you just have to go for what booster dose you also have to take second dose also then and then you will be you will survive in this covid 19 these are my references thank you